Hello, this video will be one more in the ongoing series uh, focused on what's often termed as harmonic numbers, especially how arithmetic, geometry, music and astronomy the quadrivium of the, of the seven liberal arts and well, uh, the trivium is separate from the quadrivium. Now, one, asp well, one of the most important aspects I think is the uh, well, the quadrivium deals with uh, measurables, with tangibles, for instance. So astronomy, music, arithmetic, geometry, these are all things of, you know, you can count, you can measure, you can observe, you can weigh as well. The trivium deals more with the grey areas of existence. So, for instance, the trivium, uh, if you study law, uh, grammar, logic, rhetoric, uh, important aspects of the law, now that's dealing with grey areas of 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 society, and and again, yeah, the law. Yeah, it's about still they use uh, to weigh the evidence, for instance. But uh, the trivium is more, yeah, to deal with the grey areas. But the the quadrivium is more uh, solid area, uh, and that's why I think it's um interesting and, and important to geometry, compass, and square. So these are the numbers we've uh, gone through before. Uh, links will be in the description uh, to some uh, to the early ones. But now we go to the next column and for 86, and there we have in Pythagorean tuning uh, B. And uh, I won't go through all because it's really this part where I've covered is the really chunky area. Now there is everything throughout here has some interesting connections, but uh, this. This piece is, you know, the, the, the chunkiest, the most heaviest in cool info. So, for instance, 3,888. You know, if you just, uh, if you search these, numbers, there's a lot more to them than, than these. I'm just sort of, uh, with the cards I've got prepared, and uh, it's a short list, really. Um, lots of other interesting aspects in regards to each one of these numbers. But 388, 3,888, you know, we have a reference to the size of the moon and 31,104 so the year of the Brahma we see how this uh, number now through, throughout Buddhist and Hindu arithmetic and and sacred number it's this is where they are this is where they, they're all on this scale so it's really um, also in regards to yeah sacred number it's all in here but on that same so 31104 I uh, already earlier mentioned the 280 grams in the troy, troy ounce, which is which is how we measure uh, precious metals, gold and silver. If you see the price quoted for that, well, that's 31.104 grams. Um, I should put a little asterisk. Sometimes you'll see 31.1035, uh, but the value of of the grain. Uh, changed ever ever so slightly in the not too distant past but even if you do a well 31.104 grams you'll find that that's often uh, quoted but if you look a little bit deep you'll see uh, 31.1035 but just a heads up there on that but well if you're if you can measure to um is that one ten thousand, yeah, well, you know, five ten thousandths of a of a gram. You're doing really, really well. If you were buying in massive quantities, that would would of course would be an import. You'd, you'd want to include that. But if you quoted thirty one point one oh four grams, if you can get that on a on any scale, well, you, you know, you're doing bloody fantastic in terms of calibrating your equipment. So what we have again, the same themes: weight, measurements of time, astronomy, and music. So these same themes. Uh, weights and measures hermeticism and the quadrivium for instance astronomy and music and these all tie in together so it's uh, also at 486 for B so that's the previous numbers and we see the uh, music scale now that's 192 is to 288 that's a 2 to 3 ratio and then 288 to 432 is a 2 to 3 ratio two to three just like in the vesica two to three and that's the uh, perfect fifth and two eighty two three four two is three to two and three twenty four to four eighty six is two to three so that same pattern we get two fifty six c two fifty six three 
to two. Same themes, uh, again, built into geometry, Pythagorean tune and Pythagorean, Pythagorean hammers and music, uh, Pythagorean theorem, it's just all in here in this geometry and the architecture in the, uh, the legends and the stories and, and these things incorporated around wider um, hermeticism. And I'll pause a moment. I'll put the link in the description to this channel, the Ritman Library, which is a hermetic library in Amsterdam. And through the uh, university there, they've now have a, um, they're studying hermeticism and the history of hermetic philosophy. So I'll put that in the link in the description. But it's oh, very interesting, very cool, because he's basically pointing out the fact that her hermeticism has got to do with the natural sciences. It was the, the what we now think of modern science emerged from these hermetic traditions. Uh, however, we've lost our way a little bit because as we the, the, as will be talked about in this particular the history of hermetic philosophy in this video, how he mentions how you know music, astronomy, geometry, arithmetic, how these fields within the quadrivium and well, science in a broader sense all come together and it's hermeticism is uh, about bringing what, what we think of as science and philosophy, how they um, come together. It's also interesting if you watch the rest of these videos on this channel, highly recommended, but also uh, those who were opposed to it. So for instance, uh, it was called either pseudoscience or pseudo philosophy. And if you look at the people saying that, well, they're protecting their um, agenda. And unfortunately, like a meme, this, sorry to say, ignorant prejudice about what hermeticism is has been uh, has grown, unfortunately. And the, yeah, so much stuff in regards to Hermes uh, Trismegistus is available on the net, but so little of it incorporates these very, very important points in regards to the sciences as we know them now, philosophy, uh, sort of, they sort of go off on, on a Harry Potter tangent, let's just call it. Uh, not that there isn't some aspect of that in there, I'm not going to, but it's more, well, the, the basis of it and the tangible elements of it rather than the uh, more subjective interpretations of what it means. But again, Ritman Library, especially this particular little episode, History of Hermetic Philosophy, links will be in the description. Again, very interesting, highly recommended channel and videos. So we've seen weights and measures, music, geometry, astronomy, arithmetic, and well, uh, stories such as uh, uh, flood stories, um, Epic of Gilgamesh, Inanna, oh, just, you know, it just really goes on. So 256, so we'll have a quick look at this column. Um, because for instance, 2, 4, 8, 16, they're such common numbers that it's uh, too easy to find a connection to them. So that's why I started, because these larger numbers, it's, you know, it's to, to fall on those is, now you have to, it, there's a probability, there's a, you know, a higher improbability level that they would fall on these. But when it comes to 2, 4, 16, well, you're getting like such a small number and, well, yeah, so still are, there's information in there, but I'll just, I'll go over it quickly. So, for instance, earlier episodes in this one, I mentioned how radio frequencies, uh, screen resolutions, all this come around to well, fall on these numbers. Now, for instance, uh, the old Macintosh 16-bit, Commodore 64, Commodore 128, and, okay, I've got to pause, I forgot to include one. Okay, 8-bit or 250, so 256 color displays, but also 256-bit. Now, it's a uh, interesting little, you know, if you want to read a little bit further, because it didn't have to actually be like this. Uh, it's, as is so often the way, the, the, the organizations which standardize things such as uh, ratios of screen size, radio frequencies, uh, all, all the modern uh, electronics uh, is they keep using these because these numbers are very very powerful and they're very very convenient and for instance 12 inch let's say look okay, I'm just going just as an example 12 inch foot versus the 100 centimeters of a meter 
12 inches I can divide into thirds and get 4 inches. So 12 inches divided by 3 is 4. Also I can divide 12 uh, by 4 and get 3 inches. So I can go into quarters, I can go into thirds. If I try and, what's one third of a meter? 33.33333 onto infinity uh, centimeters. So that's one of the reasons why these systems is very cool. Um, but anyway, just as an example, because these numbers have so many divisors and they break down cleanly and they devolve, uh, that's one of the reasons. However, the origins of this go back quite some time and well, they had the same systems going on again. The Ritman Library, uh, Hermeticism, the Gunther, all these people, they knew what they were, what they were doing. They built the, the setting, the standards that they set in place are the ones which still um, define our world today. Even though as we move more to metric, still the 66 feet wide street uh, and these types of things, but it goes back quite some time. But, so still in computing, how this is in, important, but in well weights and measures. So one gallon is 28 fluid ounces US. I should have said uh, specified US there as well. Uh, 64 piece like chess. But this is one example why I say these particular numbers are too common. You know because if uh, yeah, so you get an idea, but also 64 hexagrams in the I Ching, it's a third dimensional number as well, 64, and 32, so 32 forms of Ganesh, 32 paths of Kabbalistic Wisdom, uh, the 32 degrees Fahrenheit is freezing or zero, which is 273.15 Kelvin, and uh, 273. Uh, Portolan mapping, this old mapping, ancient mapping system, if you've seen these, uh, Port, um, Perry Reese map and the Orentius Phineas, uh, map as well, and so many others. But, uh, before the longitude lat, lat, and latitude system we have now of mapping, this was the, uh, method, the Portolan mapping, mapping system. And again, it's a nice number across three dimensions as well. So that's just a, Again, we just see that these numbers is they're very very cool with this small you know it's it's basically just built on two by three and then building up through the second third fourth dimension and again it just carries through cultures carries through time uh, up until this modern it's it, it uh, they're very very important to the ancient sciences but to the modern sciences as well and get still describe so important to our our world today and that's one of the importances importance of it but also again how it uh, as in the link in the description to the uh, Ritman library in the particular video how it's about bringing multiple disciplines within the sciences together and try again to, to harmonize them under one field it's like unfortunate for instance the education system I went to you go to your English class you go to your maths class geometry sorry not even geometry uh, chemistry and uh, uh, ge uh, geography but everything's so separate so this is one of the beauties of this system is that when you're doing your English lessons you're also learning about geography when you're doing your maths lesson you're also learning about music when you're doing your music you're also learning about physics and and all these so that's why it's such a you know we, within a very small selection of numbers you get so much information but it's all because it brings things together and I understand it's net, you know, it's because we've become so technological. If you're a, if you specialize in creating circuit boards, there's so much information that you can't possibly consume all the, uh, all the, the new papers being published on biology or, or this field or that field. So I do understand that. Uh, however, there, I do believe there should be some trying to bring these uh, fields together because it's, it's, it's an unfortunate tendency that we want long we want decimal numbers with a long string of you know, after the decimal points and again that's sciency but if you do it in this particular way it's sort of somehow well pseudo scientific pseudo philosophy or your fundamentalist religion or something i don't yeah again there's a prejudice in regards to these things and um uh glad that i encountered certain teachers and and presentations which pr released me from this ignorant prejudice uh, which is often considered this the modern rationalist, you know. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, I might do one or two others just to finish it off, and just but the links will be in the description. Especially, I'll put one with a 
a little mark on there, like in the description.